Hi everyone, so long time no see. I know I've been MIA for a month and I'm aware of that. I'm trying to figure stuff out in my life right now and it's been really hard, but I want to share this experience with you because I need to record it down for myself and also share it with you guys because it has been a childhood dream of mine for so long. Just so you know, my shirt says, um, no time for basics. So, um, if you're basic... Not a fan of you. Just kidding. I love all of you, but I just thought this shirt was really funny and I had to buy it. It's from Forever 21, by the way, so if you're interested, Forever 21, check it out. Um, so, I met Nick Carter, which basically is my first love from when I was like around 10 or 9 years old. I believe it was around grade 4 or 5, and I can't do math that well, but I would think I was like 9 or 10 years old when um, the Backstreet Boys came out. So, literally, it was my life. So, if you're a Backstreet Girl, Please pay attention to this video because basically it's all about Nick Carter and all about the Backstreet Boys, but mostly Nick Carter because it's about Nick Carter. So this past Wednesday on November 9, November 9, I met Nick Carter. I paid for a meet and greet. He was doing his All-American tour. I'm like, Jennifer, it's about the time for you to meet Nick Carter. And I apologize if you can hear my dad. My dad's just in the background somewhere. Um talking on the phone. But anyways, so I met him with him. Um, it was amazing. So I'm going to go through every step-by-step -step thing of what happened. So it was at Danforth Music Hall and I got an email from the people who are organizing the meet and greet to be there for 3.30. So I got there around 2.30, which was super early than I would expect it to be, but it's okay because I went out for dinner with my by myself ahead of time because um, I had a feeling that I wouldn't be able to eat. I know it's a super early dinner, but 3.30... I had a feeling that I wasn't going to be able to eat, and I assumed that the dining hall, sorry, I assumed that the Danforth Music Hall didn't have any food, so I'm like, I'm going to feed myself first, I'm going to carb load, so I went to a nearby restaurant, I think it's called Factory Girl, and I had pasta, so I ate pasta, loaded up, because um, I wanted to make sure I was full and not feeling cranky and stuff, but I still was cranky throughout the whole entire thing, I'll get into that later, but I got out of the restaurant around 3.15, I got in line for... <laughs> the meet and greet around 3.15 and I met up with these two amazing girls, shout out to Bonnie and uh, Christina who I met at the um, meet and greet line so thank you ladies, you guys have made my experience so much better. These two ladies have met Nick Carter before so they were able to calm me down a little bit but still I was still like freaking out and I just learned so much about the meet and greet and like Nick Carter fan experience and they have taught me so much so thank you ladies for keeping me cool and being super excited with me as well and like I love how you guys re reacted when I was meeting the Carter because I was like literally I kept crying it was like so crazy but anyways uh from 3 30 we thought we were able to go into the venue and like get stuff done but it was delayed so we finally got into the venue around a little after five o'clock which was kind of unfortunate because we're waiting outside in the very bitter cold it was like around I don't know how much the temperature was, but I had a uh, sweater on, I had jeans, I had um, slip-on uh, shoes, so almost like Vans, but not really Vans, and I had my scarf and my gloves. I didn't have a hat on, but um, I was cold. My feet were frozen by the end of it, but I want to say it was around f 7 or 8 degrees, it felt like, but it had like a wind chill. It was kind of windy, so that didn't help, and plus standing one spot is really cold. But anyways... I uh, finally got into the venue after 5 o'clock. We checked in, so they gave us little, um, com they, we showed them our photo ID, and they gave us a commit of Nick Carter VIP tour, kind of a, I don't know what this is called, but a lanyard with, like, a card thing on it, but this thing, uh, the company that organized this is called Wonderful Union, but, Wonderful Union, but this is what it was. I paid... It was $190 American for this experience, so roughly I paid $260 Canadian. I know it's a lot, but $260 Canadian to meet Nick Carter, I would do that because to meet all the Backstreet Boys would be even more money, and I don't think, I can't, I can't show myself, I'm not made of money, people, I'm not made of money, but yeah, so I had to meet Nick Carter because he's my number one Backstreet Boy. But anyways, they handed this out, sorry if I'm like on random tangents, but I'm just like trying to get my thoughts together, but I'm just like super excited about this whole experience. Um, so... We got into the venue, we kind of waited, and then um, shortly after that time, they brought us into the venue. Not the venue, but the actual stage area. So we got to sit down in the first, like, four rows of the venue, the Danforth Music Hall. So they had seating, and I was in the second row, and I was super close to Nick Carter. Um, it was My pictures, I wish I took more pictures and less video, but whatever. I couldn't really get some good photos, but I can't really change anything past that point. But anyways, um, I was super close to Nick Carter, and... One thing that kind of crushed me, if you know me, I have a severe peanut and nut allergy. So Nick performed a few songs. He was sound checking, making sure everything sounded good. Um, he said that, guys, I just, he said something along the lines of, um, 
I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and I feel really great right now and like inside of me I was crushed because my allergy is so severe to the point where if people are talking to me if they had peanuts in their mouth I can feel my throat closing up like I can't t interact with people who have like peanuts or nuts in their mouth because I'm really sensitive to the smell like my throat would like close up so I start freaking out in my head but I'm like still having an amazing time like it was such a surreal experience so like when he told me that he like I took a video of him like saying that he ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich I took Tic Tacs out of my purse and put them in my mouth because I wanted to like have fresh breath and also it helps distract me from like thinking that I might like die in front of Nick Carter because he's gonna breathe peanut butter and jelly sandwich breath on me um, in case we were talking or stuff but like that didn't happen obviously because I'm here still here but um, we did the soundtrack experience that was roughly around to say like half an hour -ish, and he did a little Q&A at the very end of it um, but he was super cute super like oh my god like super handsome like obviously it's like Nick Carter like I can't even deal um, I'll share some photos in the end of this video if I can um, if I got any good footage I don't know but I wish I took better pictures. So um, after that, we waited out. We they asked us to wait outside in a different area for the meet and greet. So it was in a little store right beside the Danforth Music Hall, and it looks like Danforth Music Hall owned there as well because inside of it was like cases of like water and pop and stuff, and it looked like they owned that area as well. And for some weird reason, like. It's, I don't think it's weird, but when I paid for a meet and greet, I was expecting there to be like a nice backdrop and just like a nicer area to take the photo. But the background was basically like a wall that had like empty shelving on it. Like there used to be shelves in there, but they still have the hooks from the shelves. And it had a case of water and like a back panel. Like, you know, the power panel and it's like the, this usually a door, the over electrical panel. Like that part was open. So I'm not sure what the photo looked like, but a professional photo was taken. So I wasn't able to get that photo yet but within the next few days I'll have it so if you follow me on Instagram Twitter or Facebook then you'll see me on you'll see me that professional picture but the professional picture turned out I think it's I'm gonna look terrible in it but Nick is gonna look amazing because he always looks amazing in every photo so we're lining up and I'm like with Bonnie and Christina and I'm like freaking out like what I'm gonna say oh my god like I'm getting to like I'm like oh my god I'm actually gonna meet Nick Carter in this like place I thought it's gonna be nice and like you know you know, more like a luxe experience because you're paying extra money for this VIP package. So that's what I thought was going to be like. And we also got a poster as well, by the way. So this is the poster. Um, it looks like a Sin City. So it says N Nick Carter Tour 2016. It has his autograph. So I did get Nick Carter's autograph. But he signed this ahead of time. So I didn't. he didn't sign it like freshly made. But yeah. So I got this as part of the VIP package, which is good. And um, yeah, sorry. I'm like super excited to tell this whole story but anyways we're like lining up and I'm like getting emotional I'm like crying every once in a while because I can't believe I'm meeting Nick Carter like at around that moment and that he was so close and that like it was in that area and I thought it'd be a nice area but I don't know I was just having a really weird experience I'm trying to figure out also what I want to say because um Bonnie was saying how like the first time she met him she couldn't get words out and I wanted to get words out to him because the first time I'm gonna meet him I want to say something so when it was finally my turn or close to my turn I get my um camera to the girl that was like a few spots behind me because I want her to record the experience but she just recorded from her angle so it wasn't like an up close shot like you know like a wedding video would be like you know but anyways um she took the video but basically I walked up to Nick Carter I had my jacket my purse and my phone in my hand I just dropped it right by his bodyguard his bodyguard's name is Mike by the way and um I saw I'm like I saw him like I can't remember if I said name but but I said hi it's my first time meeting you I've waited 20 years for this moment um and we both held I hugged him, I said it, I hugged him, I said, uh, it's my first time meeting you, I waited 20 years for this moment, and then we both held hands, like, you know how when couples hold hands at the altar, like, they would hold their hands like this, I was holding hands like that with Nick, and I was, like, feeling like, oh my god, so I told him, I've gone through a really rough year, and you're the best part of my year, so I'm really excited to meet you, and he's like, in his eyes, he looked like he was really sad for me because I'm like t starting to tear up and like getting so emotional because I'm trying to get myself together because Jennifer, like, sorry my camera cut off there, I don't know where it cut off, but basically I was holding hands with him and I told him that I was going through a really rough year and that he was the best part of my year and he, and I, really, I was really excited to meet him and then he said, well I'm going to give you the best shot then, meaning he's going to give me the best shot for my photo. So. We hugged and then we kind of faced the camera and the camera guy took the photo for me and then like we walked away and then I got handed the poster by his groupies like I didn't know he had like groupies that people that knew him that but they these girls with like freaking frack hats sat beside him and like these other two girls were sitting there and they were like helping to hand out the posters which I thought was like really weird like they were handing out these posters but I guess that's a normal experience at a meet and greet for Nick Carter I never been to a meet and greet for any celebrity before so I was like okay 
So then Bonnie and um, Christina are already waiting outside, so I met up with them, and I was super excited, and then they had to get their tickets at the box office, and there was a separate line for VIP, and like the organization of it was so crazy. So one side of the Danforth Music Hall was for regular people who were going in, and the other side is for VIP. And they didn't state very clearly of how it was going to be, because I thought we were still going to get like the, um, whatchamacallit, early access into the venue, and also... Uh, early access to buying merchandise. And I thought that early access to merchandise was going to be happening around the sound check time, but it didn't happen around that time, but it happened like right before like the doors open, but I don't know. It said doors open at 7 on the ticket, so general admission people or like people who had like regular tickets, not VIP tickets, um, were gonna come open at the same time at 7, but no, they delayed it so that we get early access. So I got into the venue first, and then once all the VIP people go in, everyone else went in. So we didn't get an exclusive closed off area to get VIP, to get um, the f full experience for the merchandise, but I did get one thing, one thing. I bought the, it's this shirt here, but it says NC Nick Carter on it, and on the back it just had the dates of his concert tour, so for a second round of his All-American tour, or so these are the dates, and I went to the Toronto one, obviously, the one says November 9th, but that's the one I went to, so there's that, and honestly, it was, the concert was amazing, Nick came out, he did his thing, he performed so amazingly well, like, there were some songs I didn't know because I haven't listened to the, um, the full All My because I, I am a Nick Carter fan, but I'm not, like, a Nick Carter fan where, like, whoa, I'm, like, I know everything about him, but I'm more of a Nick Carter, like, his first solo album, his Nick and Knight tour, because I went to that one, and also his NKO2 BSB tour, and also, like, the Backstreet Boys. Like, that's the type of fan I am for Nick Carter, and I was just, like, I was just amazed by the whole entire concept, but I wish the meet and greet experiences, like, I set such a high bar for myself that I was, like, Ugh! I could have felt better about the meet and greet, but now it's been a few days past. I'm so happy that I met him, and I shouldn't take things, like, so close to my heart, because, like, when I saw him and the way he looked at me, he looked at me like I was concerned or, like, there was something wrong with me or, like, I don't know. I just felt like I wanted him to laugh and smile, but I think it's because the way my face was and my reaction, like, me, like, I was, like, I didn't, like, cry, like, cry like a baby, but, like, my my eyes were, like, welling up with tears, so he probably felt, like, really bad or something, but, like, the fact that I went through a really rough year, I think he was trying to show some th sympathy, but, like, yeah, he was, like, the best part of my year, and I'm so happy that, like, I met him. Um, so yeah, I wanted to share this experience with you guys. I know I'm like kind of all over the place. I apologize, but I'm just like super excited for this and I haven't been back filming videos in a while, so I want to share this with you guys. Um, and I apologize for the lighting. It is around 4.15 right now and daylight savings happened and I think this whole daylight savings thing is affecting me. Like, it's crazy how I'm feeling right now. Like, this fall winter depression is a real thing because I'm feeling the depression. And I need to get out. I need to do fun things. I need to wear color. Like, I'm wearing black right now, but I need to wear color. So, yeah. Um, if you guys have any questions, I'll post some pictures at the end of um, that I took during the concert and also a clip of me meeting Nick Carter. You're not, you're not going to hear any... You won't be able to hear any voices with that one, but you still get to see me hug him and stuff. And obviously... Oh, my God. So, when I met him... I was thinking about what I wanted to wear when I meet my first love because this is like 10 or 11 year old Jennifer who wants like amazing for her first love and I'm thinking in my head like Jennifer what is wrong with you? Especially because like I want to make amazing like my eye makeup I felt like I needed to like redo it again I didn't I was not feeling my eyeshadow my outfit was kind of frumpy but I was thinking like when Nick Carter hugs me does he want to hug something that feels like kind of fit or does he want to hug something that's kind of cuddly? I'm like I think he wants to wear something cuddly so I wore like a chunky um, warm sweater so when he hugged me it'd be very soft and he was also in a black hoodie so like the hug that we hugged was like kind of like hugging a blanket and it was just amazing he gives like the best hugs I hugged him twice we held hands like we're at the altar I'm just like on cloud nine just thinking about it right now I'm like oh my god I can't believe I met Nick Carter he is so cute oh my god <sighs> so happy but anyways yeah that's me and my Nick Carter experience for November 2016 I'm so happy if you want to leave any comments let me know down below and I'll see you guys soon bye Yeah. 
Amen. 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 Amen.